Hey guys, this is Stefan for Android Pit. My colleagues and I came to Hamburg today to the headquarters for Google Germany to have a fairly exclusive hands-on look at Google Glass. Also, we're going to be talking to the PR representative for Google Germany, Stefan Koche. So without further ado, OK Glass, let's go. Um, it's a project that the Google X team is working on. Um, it's, it's interesting because under the uh, hood of Google X there's a few products that we're working on. Uh, one is Google Glass, obviously. Another one is um, the self-driving car. And uh, the third one is um, Project Loon, a quite interesting project where we try to bring internet into rural areas. Uh, so um, actually it's interesting to see because um, if you see the de development of Glass uh, over the last, um, well let's say two years, it's interesting to see because um, the first version of Glass was actually a pair of goggles with a smartphone taped to it, you know, so <laughs> it looked really interesting. So 18 months later, you know, it looks like this. There's two ways actually to, to use Glass or to, you know, navigate with Glass. One is voice, voice action. So you can um, use Glass by saying, OK, Glass. Um, the other way to control Glass is um, this part here, right? So this is actually a touchpad that you can swipe and that you can tap. The battery of Glass sits right here. Um, and actually, is, if you take a look at it, you, you will be able, or you won't see any speaker. However, you will be able to interact with Glass and you will hear um, answers being read to you. And this is interesting because this little device does that. So it sounds waves that are um, you know, transmitted via the bone to your ear. Actually, the, the best way to demo it is to, to use it. So, I'm wearing Google Glass for the first time. Well, not really the first time, the second time I just tried it. But, uh, you know, it's still new. You activate the, the well, the device, it's, I mean, it's not glasses really, but you activate it either by just a tap here, you get to the home screen, which will show you the, the time of day, or you can activate the device by lifting your head uh, to a 30 degree angle. Now, interestingly, the whole device does not, you know, it doesn't uh, put a lot of pressure on your head. That's good, it's comfortable. It's not in your face, while it is technically in your face. It, uh, it doesn't obstruct your field of vision, which is important, so you can still talk to someone, divert your, intention, uh, your attention from the device, and easily switch. You can switch back and forth. It's really just a matter of you know, focusing your attention. So I activate the device. Let's uh, ask for the weather. OK, glass. Now I get a whole uh, list of uh, different uh, you know, uh, commands. So uh, Google. What's the weather in New York City? And there it is. So now I can swipe back and forth through the menu and see what uh, you know what it what it has to offer. I go back to the uh, main screen, if you will, by swiping down. Uh, okay, glass. Google. Oh, in fact, no, that's that was wrong. I wanted to take a picture, so I go back. Okay, glass take a picture. There it is. And of course uh, you can do the same, record a video and do all sorts of things. I mean, uh, you know, get navigation and so forth. You might need a smartphone for that in combination, but it's, it's all very easy and intuitive and I'm quite, um, quite uh, surprised okay. in a good way. So that was my first impression. So Glass can do everything that you know from your smartphone. So you can call somebody, you can obviously do Google search, you can use navigation, you can um, send an SMS, all that stuff. Um, but you can also do a little more. If you think about journalism, for example, you can think of uh, many different cases why this is useful. You know, let's say uh, something is happening somewhere in the world and the reporter wears glass and can live stream and say, well, this is what I'm seeing right now, right? So you can do interviews with it, for example, you know. Last week, actually, there was a, um, a case where I think it's, it's really obvious why glass is so useful. There's a, um, uh, a doctor who had a, um, a surgery and he streamed it live uh, to his students, actually. 
we wanted that the developer community develops apps for Glass. So right now, there's a few apps on Glass already. We call them Glassware. So if you, let's say, take a picture, you can share it to Twitter, or you can share it to Facebook, or Google+, Plus, obviously. You will be able to read New York Times or CNN news that, that you get pushed on, on, onto Glass. So there's a few apps that work already with Glass. However, for the launch of Glass in 2014, we want that the user or someone who buys Glass can, you know, have a broad range of different apps that, that he can uh, select to, to use it with Glass. So this was our visit to Google here at the headquarters in Hamburg, Germany. I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty excited by the technology. It certainly does more than I envisioned it could. Then again, I didn't really have much of a, an, an idea, and I'm pretty sure you feel the same way. I hope we were able to bring it a little closer to you and give you a more realistic impression. After all, it's going to be maybe another year. We don't know until Google hits the market. Um, we'll see you next time. Until then, bye.